Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a Facebook custom audience based off of an email list or a customer buyer's list. Now, this is a great list for retargeting, but it's also a great list for creating a lookalike audience because it's a list of email subscribers or buyers, and you can also do buyers based off of lifetime value as well. So you can create very solid audiences following this method here. So let's say that you have an email list or a buyer's list. You know, you have a, a CSV file is what you're gonna wanna have have and you're going to want to have as much information as possible but primarily you know email address name um, if you have their phone number or their city state zip code that type of information the more information you have about these individuals either on your email list or that have gone to your your store and bought something so maybe you have a shopify store and you can export all of your customer orders uh, that could be a great a great source or a seed list that you could use for your custom audience um, but as much data as possible is what you want to provide to facebook so you you want to export as much as possible so you can go ahead and upload it so anyway i have an email list right here that i'm going to go ahead and upload for example and i blurred everything out because you know it's sensitive material but you get the idea of you know the type of content it contains here so you have your list csv file then you want to come over to the facebook ads manager and you want to go into the business tools and you want to go to the audiences area so click into here and you should land on a page that looks something like this right here and what you wanna go now is do is create audience and you wanna do, do a custom audience. And then you wanna do it based off of a customer list here and you hit next. And then it's gonna tell you how to prepare your customer list. Basically, you're gonna put it in a CSV file and you don't really need to do any of this download file template or see formatting guidelines. You're gonna be able to map the fields you see map identifiers right here. So you'll be able to select what goes where. So if you don't have the exact names that Facebook wants, it's okay. You'll be able to map them as you'll see in the next step. So it just gives you some, some steps here. We're going to skip that. Now it does ask if, ask us if we have a customer value column. So if you do, are you, if you are uploading a customer list, a good idea is to put their lifetime value, a column that contains their lifetime value as part of that list. Uh, Facebook actually does a very good job. When you use it to create lookalike audiences, it focuses on people that you know provide or pay more money to your business than those that pay less money. So it creates a more uh, valuable audience to you if you have that lifetime value column associated on your, your list that you're uploading. So if you have that, that's awesome. I recommend doing that. Uh, if not, well then obviously you don't have it and you just select no here. So in my case, I'm just uploading an email list. I don't have customer value on here, so I'll select no. But again, if you have it, do it. It's a good option there. And then we got to agree to their custom audiences terms and all that stuff. So we'll hit next now. And then we could go ahead and download the file template. Again, not, not really needed, just so long as uh, your, your table has information, you can map it. So go ahead and then browse for your file and upload it. And also, I guess you could go ahead and paste comma separated value. So if you have a list that you want to just paste in there, you could do that as well. But I don't know, that seems kind of messy to me when you could just upload a CSV file, but uh, you know, to each to their own. Then you could go ahead and name your audience. So I recommend naming it something so you know, you know what list this is. Um, I'm just gonna leave it full list, whatever for this particular example. But of course, name it something that makes sense to you and you can easily find it. You could also add a description to make it more, you know, defined uh, so you can more identify, you know, what the list is. Anyway, go ahead and hit next then. And then it's going to ask us to map our identifiers here. So the first identifier we have is email address. So you want to go ahead and make sure that it is mapped to the email address here. Uh, then it's mapping 50% off vault DL uh, as date of birth. And that, that's not accurate at all. So I'm going to do do not upload on that particular one. Then I can come over here to action needed here. And then I can select other fields that I could go ahead and map. And you want to map as many as possible because Facebook's going to take this information that you're uploading and it's going to go look at all their users on the Facebook platform. And it's going to map, you know, it's going to look for email addresses. It's going to look for first name, last name, phone number, address information. It's going to look at all their, their database of people and map uh, that database to the list you're uploading here. So the more information you can give to Facebook, the better. And so we'll map what's relevant. So I have a first name field here. So I'll come in here and I'll map it to the first name. I have a last name field here. So I'll go ahead and la ma map it to the last name. I have a phone number field here. So I'll go ahead and map it to the phone number field. And it's given me an error here because it's not matching the correct format. So you gotta have the numbers in the correct format. and. I, I haven't really used phone number on this particular list, so it kind of makes sense that I'm getting some errors there because I don't have really any data in there. 
Uh, we got IP addresses. Let's see if there's any other fields. So you just map, go through and see what fields you could go ahead and map. And let me hit this drop down here. So there's a bunch of stuff, email, phone number, mobile, advertiser ID, first name, last name, zip code, city, state, country, date of birth, year of birth, gender, age, Facebook app user ID, Facebook page user ID. So any of that information you can go ahead and map if you have that uh, bit of information in your on your list. Uh, once you've mapped everything, you can go ahead and do import and create. So it's going to go ahead and upload the entire list and start mapping uh, people to the list that you uploaded. So now it asks us or says the next steps. So we could go ahead and create a lookalike audience. So this can be a great audience to go ahead and create because it looks like your email list or it looks like your buyers. And if you have lifetime value, it looks like buyers based off of lifetime value. And it knows this type of person spends more than this type of person. So they'll make your lookalike audience list look more like the people that spend a lot versus the people that spend a little and all that type of stuff. So I'd recommend going and creating a lookalike audience. And this could be a good audience for cold traffic, bringing in new fresh people uh, because again, they look like your email list or your buyer. So you'd go ahead and create that. I'm not going to go through this whole look like audience piece right here. I have a video on that link in the description below. So I'll just go real quick. We'll do United States here and I'll just hit create audience just for the sake of example here. So now I've created a lookalike audience based off of the list that I just uploaded. And now I'm also getting a, a message here that I need to accept the terms. So let's go ahead and accept the terms and I accept. And so now it's ready. So now I can use this audience for retargeting purposes and also for this lookalike audience here. And so that's how you create those custom audiences based off of your list. Now I'm gonna do a quick example on how you could set up a campaign and ad set to advertise to these audiences. So if you wanna learn about that, stick around. Otherwise, that's how you go ahead and upload a list as a custom audience. But let's say you wanna go ahead and use it. Uh, we'll come over here to business tools and we wanna to go to ad manager now. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. And I'm just gonna leave buying type auction and we'll go for conversions and I'll go ahead and name my campaign. I'm going very quick I have a full video on setting up a campaign but I want to get to the ad set settings to show you how we can use these audiences that we just created so anyway I'm gonna do list audience and cold traffic and add one and I'll go ahead and hit continue now and now let me go to the ad set settings right here. So this is where we set up our targeting. So cold traffic, and we need to select a conversion event real quick. So we'll just say purchases, so purchase. Okay, that's good right there. The main thing I wanna do is come on down here to audiences. So for cold traffic, what we could do with the list we just uploaded is we could target our lookalike audience that we just created. So we're targeting a lookalike audience of our full list. So it should be a pretty good cold audience to be targeting because I had almost 10,000 people on this list. So that's a pretty big group of people for Facebook to analyze. And then what you probably wanna go ahead and do is exclude people that are already on your list. So you'll go ahead and exclude the people you know that have already subscribed or committed the action that you're advertising for. So we're targeting you know the people that look like people on our list, but we wanna exclude people that are already on our list because they're already on our list and we don't need them to join our list again. So that's how you can go ahead and set up an ad set that's targeting cold traffic. Now retargeting, let me go ahead and I'll just go ahead and duplicate this real quick just to save a second. And we'll go ahead and duplicate. And let me go ahead and rename it real quick. We'll just call this retargeting. So this is our retargeting ad set. And in this case, we'll be retargeting people on our, our list. So let's remove this exclusion, remove this lookalike. And so in this particular case, I'm going to be targeting the audience that's based off of my full list. So I'll be up, I'll be targeting my customer list here. And in this particular case, maybe I'm showing them a different product or service or something that somebody on my list might wanna buy versus on the cold traffic here, I might be showing them a self-liquidating offer or something, you know, just to get them interested in my brand or something like that, right? So that's how you can go ahead and use an email list or a customer list to create audiences and a couple different ad set ideas on targeting. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.